What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Damien and you are watching another episode of Quarantine and Cook. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys my attempt to make this recipe that I saw on Tasty. If you guys don't know what Tasty is, it's a short series of videos uh, that teach you how to cook. Super easy, they're about one to two minutes long. And today's video will be rolled up French toast. That's right, rolled up French toast. So it's a unique twist to the traditional French toast. The three different types that I'm gonna be making are Nutella and strawberries, sausage, and almond butter with bananas. So I hope you guys are excited. If you guys try any of these recipes, don't forget to tag me on my Instagram, at Damien Boss. And here are the ingredients. All right, our first ingredient, you will need some bread, three eggs, cinnamon, vanilla, one tablespoon of milk, and for my three flavors, I'm gonna be doing Nutella and strawberries, almond butter and banana. And I'm gonna be cooking some Farmer John classic pork link sausages. And of course, for your pan, butter that baby up. Okay, so first, my first step, I'm gonna go ahead and roll out my bread using this roller. If you guys don't have a roller at home, you could you also do this with your fingers, your hands, or maybe some other tool that you might have in your kitchen. But you pretty much just wanna roll it out and make it as flat as you could. After you roll it out, next step is you're gonna to wanna to cut all of the edges off. I'm excited to try this, it looks really good. I love French toast, maybe with a mimosa or a warm coffee, I don't know. However you prefer to brunch, you could have this for breakfast, you could have this for a midnight snack, maybe dessert after dinner, you can't go wrong. Okay, so for my egg batter, I'm gonna crack three eggs into this mixing bowl. Now I'm, I'm making a total of uh, six French toast roll-ups, so obviously if you're making more or less, you would either add or subtract any more of the eggs. One tablespoon of milk, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of vanilla abstract. All right, now that my ingredients are in here, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little whisk. Oh my God, the cinnamon smells good. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be, I am making my Nutella and strawberry roll-ups. So I have two, I'm gonna make two of each. So first I'm gonna be spreading some Nutella. You're gonna wanna spread this at the bottom half or either the top or the bottom. I guess it doesn't really matter of your roll. Um, if you don't have Nutella, you could also just use peanut butter and strawberries. Is that a thing? Um, I saw a recipe with cream cheese as well. So whatever spread or bottom you wanna put. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dice up my strawberries. Now, I don't want my strawberries to be too big in here because remember, you're gonna roll it up and you don't want you want to prevent anything from kind of falling out. I love Nutella and strawberries. They are so good. I could literally have them any time of day for breakfast, as a snack, banana and Nutella is really good as well. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice these a little smaller just in case 
Um, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much roll it up like a taco now. So I'm gonna start from the bottom half where my, my ingredients are and you are just gonna be rolling it up, literally like a taco or burrito, whatever you wanna call it, and bam. So remember, start from the bottom and just make sure everything is nice and tight. You're rolling it like if you're rolling a burrito. You keep things tight and just boom, roll it. If anything falls out, just, make, just stick it back in. It'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side and now I'm gonna make my next batch. Yeah, I just get this one from um, Trader Joe's is one of my favorites. If you guys um, haven't had it, make sure you guys check it out. Trader Joe's creamy almond butter. Um, really good. So I'm gonna spread it again. I'm gonna spread it more on the bottom half of my roll-ups. And then I actually had some bananas that were going bad, which is why one of the reasons why I wanted to film this recipe and give it a try and, and cook it with you guys um, because I had some bananas and I hate throwing away food. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the brown parts. Uh, for the most part, this is a really good banana still. Now for your banana, same thing. You're just gonna wanna cu cut it off into, uh, dice it up into smaller pieces. The smaller the better so that nothing is bulky and rolls out of the roll when you roll it up. If you guys have ever had rice cakes with almond butter, oh my God, so good. They also sell some of my favorite rice cakes at Trader Joe's, but such a good healthy snack. You don't feel guilty of it. I used to have it all the time at the office when I was working. So good. Okay, so once again, start from the bottom and roll it up. Oops, this one might be challenging. Let's see. Nope. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, hopefully it doesn't pop out of the fryer when I cook these. The key is to just kind of make sure everything is rolled up really tight so that, like I said, it doesn't come out. Ooh, this one was like perfect. I am so excited to try these. I can fix this one. Perfect. Put these off to the side. All right, guys. So for my last two, I went and I pre-cooked my sausage, um, so I didn't waste too much time doing that during the video. Um, I'm gonna just add those to the bottom, and I'm just gonna add one. Thought I needed more, but these are easy. You just roll it up once again. Now, if you don't want to do sausage, you could do bacon, you could do ham, some other protein that you like, but for me, I'll be doing sausage. All right, guys, there you go. I made a total of six. Here I have my strawberry and Nutella, peanut butter, I mean, sorry, almond butter, and bananas, and some sausage. Looks good. Hey okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter to my pan just to kind of grease it up a little bit. Make sure that when I put my egg, it doesn't stick on my rolls. I'm gonna go ahead and just dip it using my fingers. Now, make sure that when you pick them up, they don't roll out like this one just did. Um, make sure it's nice and tight. Kind of press it together. And like I said, just grab it and you kind of just roll it in here make sure it's all covered don't leave it in here for too long or else it's gonna get uh, soggy and you don't want it to get soggy because and then it's all gonna fall apart after this I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it on there and let it cook all right guys so I'm letting it cook for about maybe a minute minute and a half um, on each side once again, this is egg and egg cooks really quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it to the other side and let that cook.
All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my second one. I wanna go ahead and change the camera angle for you guys so that you guys can see a little bit better of how it's supposed to look. Oops, well, I'll screw that one up. We gotta dip it. So don't forget this step. You dip it inside your egg. Kind of just make sure it gets rolled in there. Maybe sprinkle off any excess and then you throw it in the pan. Now once again, you're gonna want to cook this for about maybe a minute, minute and a half on each side. It smells really good by the way. Um, what are you guys, some, some of your favorite go-to breakfast recipes? Um, personally, I'm not a huge breakfast person. Uh, especially right now during quarantine, I try to just stick to my normal eating habits and schedule. Um, usually for the morning I just do maybe a coffee and a waffle or a shake or a granola bar, something really light. Um, I really have adapted myself to not have such a big meal. Uh, but on the weekends, the weekends is different. On the weekends I do like to have maybe some pancakes or an omelet or something a little bit more bigger or heavier. Um, just because um, I feel like I'm a little bit more active on the weekends than I am during the weekday. And it's fun to cook, so I have more time on the weekends. All right, nice and brown. I'm gonna go put those off to the side. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and do the almond butter and bananas. Have you guys tried any of their recipes from Tasty? They're really easy. They're like micro videos. They're about maybe a minute to two minutes and it's super easy to follow, quick. That's where I got this recipe, Tasty. They have their own channel on YouTube and they also have an app. Um, so super cool and it's free. So super easy to follow. I recommend you guys download it. So as you guys can see, it looks really nice and toasted. Looks like a French toast, but rolled up. Pretty neat. All right guys, looks like this one, oh, a little bit more. Sometimes you, I recommend kind of turning it on its hot side and holding it because you wanna make sure that the sides are getting cooked as well, just cause you have raw egg there. And you do not wanna be getting sick right now. So no raw egg, not for me at least. So how are you guys liking my videos? I think I'm having a lot of fun making them. I've learned how to do so many new recipes. Um, a lot of this stuff, guys, it's so easy, and I try to make it the easiest uh, for you to follow, just to give you guys some things to try at home, especially right now, since you know we, we know restaurants are closed, we're asked to stay home. So it's a good time to try new things. Um, I personally have always liked to cook, um, I don't know what it is. I love starting from nothing and coming out to something. It's it's really neat. Um, it's super fun. And why not use this time to learn? I'm excited once since quarantine is over to invite my friends, my family, and instead of ordering catering or ordering takeout from somewhere to feed them, I can actually make some cool recipes for them. So looking forward to that day. I'm sure it'll be here sooner rather than later. We just all have to be patient and do our part and just stay home. And special shout out to the healthcare workers who are, you know, at the front lines of this pandemic. Um, much respect and love for you guys. So much courage to be in those ICUs, their hospitals. Um, it takes a lot of courage. And even to our essential workers like the mailman and you know, grocery store workers, um, it's tough. It's a scary place right now. So I can't imagine for you guys that are having to, you know, go to work, um, pay your bills and things like that. So much respect to you guys. All right, so these are the ones that have sausage in them. They only have sausage. Now remember guys, I did cook the sausage. So you guys don't want to put raw sausage in here because it's not going to cook when there's a bread wrapped around it. So make sure that you guys cook your sausage so that um, you are not eating raw meat, of course. And I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and add two of them in here. 
Um, that probably would have been a lot faster. But I like talking to you guys. Especially right now, I'm home alone, so. Well, not really home alone because I'm hanging out with you guys. But you guys can't really talk back to me if you know what I mean. Alright guys, looks like our French toast roll-ups are done. I'm going to go ahead and top this off with some syrup and then we're going to take you guys for a taste test. Now if you guys have powdered sugar, you guys could pow uh, top it off with that. But we don't have any powdered sugar so I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some syrup on this and we'll do a little taste test for you guys. Right, guys, there you have it, rolled up French toast. They look super good. I haven't had a bite yet, so I'm gonna have my first bite with you guys. Um, I have my cup of coffee right here. Um, you could have a mimosa, you could have a glass of milk, whatever you want. I'm gonna go in with the Nutella and the strawberries first because those are the first ones that I made. Now on the Tasty recipe, they actually had cream cheese and strawberries. Um, I didn't have any cream cheese, um, but I thought Nutella would be a good substitute. So here it goes. Mmm. Oh my God. They literally melt in your mouth, you guys. I'm not kidding. They literally melt in your mouth. I can't tell if it's the outside or the inside part that's really good. Oh my God. Oh, mm. so good. Wow, that is really good. Moms, if you guys have kids, you need to try these for your babies because it's really, it's sweet. I mean, it's strawberry and Nutella, not gonna lie, it's not the healthiest meal, but it's one of the most delicious breakfast meals that I've had in a long time. Mm. Oh, so good. Next, I'm gonna do the, uh, let's do the sausage one. Now the sausage one, there's no uh, spread, it's just sausage, um, but I did add some extra egg on the top just to kind of make it more than just sausage, you know? Um, dip right in. Ooh, that looks so good. Get some syrup. I love syrup on anything. I put syrup on my eggs, on my, of course on my bacon, um, and on my sausage. So a lot of my close friends already know that. You guys know a little bit more something about me today. Here it goes. Oh, see this one is more of the sweet and savory one. Because you know the sausage is salty, but the batter that we did our egg, of course has cinnamon and vanilla, so it is sweet, but I do like the sweet and savory option. Mm-hmm. Mm. Super good. And of course, I have my cafecito. Mm. All right, next, uh, I'm gonna go dive into the banana and almond, pe almond butter. Okay, so this is banana and almond butter. Let's see if you guys are able to see that. Oh, there you go. Look how, look how toasty this looks. Look at that, you guys. Wow. So there is bananas and almond butter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dive back into this one. And then I'll go ahead and rate my favorite in order with number one being the best. Let's see which one it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are good. I got peanut butter stuck at the top of my mouth, the roof of my mouth, the inside of my mouth. Oh, but these are really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I am so impressed. Super easy to make too. This didn't require much work. Mm. 
Oh, so good. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna save the half for Lucy, but if I have to pick number one being the best, second being second best, and the third, of course, third place, I think I would go with the almond, butter, and banana as number one. That's my favorite. Then I would do the sausage, and then I would do the Nutella and strawberries. And here's why. I thought the banana and almond butter wasn't too sweet, but because of the peanut butter, it felt like there was a little bit salty, savory in there, right? Um, and then the um, sausage one, I just love the whole combo of the sweet and salty. And the Nutella and strawberry one literally just melted in your mouth because of the creamy Nutella inside. But for my personal preference, I thought it was a little bit too sweet for me. I'm not a huge like um, sweets guy, um, but nevertheless, it was good. I think I will definitely have one. Um, but that's it, you guys. Super easy, super easy. I hope you guys try it at home. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, at Damien Boss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!